Hello, in this short tutorial, we'll talk about how to create JSON manually. Let's take a look at the agenda. First, we'll spend some time discussing the most common approach today, which is serialize, deserialize the object. Then we'll spend a significant amount of time on the main topic, and towards the end, we'll talk about the other options available out there. Let's get started. I'm using two main sources for my tutorial. One is a website by Microsoft. I would strongly recommend that you go through these exercises here. It shows you how to deserialize and serialize a JSON object using system text.json. The other one is by uh, Newtonsoft. Uh, I would strongly recommend that you look at the um, how to manually create JSON. It starts very simple, then it goes into collections and it gets complex as you go on and there's some dynamic stuff as well. So most commonly people take their JSON, in our case this sample JSON, create a correspondence C-sharp entity for it, then take that uh, entity populated through C-sharp code and towards the end serialize that to a string and post that JSON into a REST endpoint. Now there might be some scenarios where you would need to create the JSON manually. In this case, I'm creating the JSON in one go, but I like this other approach where I'm building one element at a time starting from the inner child and working my way to the root. The result is the same, but I'm building one object at a time. This is more readable. And if there are issues, I can identify the issue at that line level versus where everything is kind of clubbed up in one go. Now, you can use other libraries to achieve the same. Newtonsoft has been around for quite some time, and people recently started migrating from Newtonsoft to system.text.json library. But before you make that move, go ahead and go to this website and look at the differences and specifically features that are not supported yet and the behavioral changes before you make that move. This concludes the tutorial and here's the reference material I used for this tutorial starting from the Newtonsoft to systems.text.json to the differences. I hope this tutorial helped you to solve the problem that you're looking to solve and thank you for watching.